This is meteorologist Tim Root with your KLEK 1 to 2.5 forecast. It will be partly to mostly sunny and hot today near 90, a southwest wind at 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear light winds near 70 tonight, south wind about 5 to 10. Checking out the weekend, Saturday is going to be nice, partly to mostly sunny, mid to upper 80s. And it will be near 88 Sunday, partly sunny with a chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Sunny in the 80s for Columbus Day. Your life, your music, we're KLEK 102.5 FM. From Feature Story News in London, I'm Ollie Barrett. The Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to Congolese Dr. Denis Mukwege and Yazidi rights activist Nadia Murad. France is investigating after the Chinese head of the international police agency Interpol disappeared. Officials in Europe are breathing a sigh of relief after Italy backed away from a budget which put it on a collision course with Brussels. And consumer giant Unilever says it's dropping plans to move its headquarters from London to Rotterdam. It's 9.01. Community Conversations is brought to you by Arkansas Early Learning, offering no-cost child care in Jonesboro in Northeast Arkansas. Applications at arearlylearning.org. Arkansas Early Learning is a nonprofit organization. K-L-E-K L-P Jonesboro, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council. It's now time for Community Conversations, a program focusing on the people working to make the Jonesboro community a better place while offering viewpoints from all sides of the issues. The views expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of KLEK 102.5 FM, the voice of Arkansas Minority Advocacy Council, or our underwriters or sponsors. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday to you. You're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. I'm your host, Quabila Jones, and join me, joining me on the phone is Mr. Arthur Aggie and Miss Deidre Williams. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we want to thank you all for joining us on the phone, Mr. Arthur. Now, we're going to be talking about an upcoming event um, coming to Arkansas State University on October 19th and 20th. Um, This event will be featuring the film Hoop Dream with a documentary, Hoop Dreams. um, And Mr. Arthur will be the keynote speaker at this event. So before I get into... um, more details i want you to please give us some background on the move well i'm sorry the documentary who drinks and tell us a little bit more about yourself mr arthur okay um yeah i'm um uh, i live in chicago uh back in 1987 uh, there was a, a three filmmakers here in chicago looking to do a, a documentary about inner city basketball and how it's played on the street and they just so happened to come to the court where I was playing at one day and they started filming and by the end of their by the end of them filming they asked they pulled me aside and asked me would I want to be a part of their project and I said sure I have to get permission from my mom so I took them over the next day meet my mom and spend <laughs> couldn't get rid of those guys for almost six seven years after that wow. so they started uh yeah, they start they start filming me when I was 14 years old. You know, everyday life, uh, normal things. And I mean, I, I wasn't anyone special, but I think that a movie was going to be made into it. <laughs> but uh, it was it was a great experience, and I, and I wouldn't change it for anything. But the good thing out of it is that I was able to obtain a basketball scholarship at Arkansas State University in 1993. That is really amazing. So, did you go on to graduate from Arkansas State University? Yes, I did. I also um, majored in radio and television, and that was just because I was around the camera so much when I was young that I was I got interested in in radio and TV and how movies are made and stuff like that. So I, I majored in radio and television, and when I was doing that at Arkansas State, I had my um, I had a I was on the radio in the morning. I did the the um, I did the, the the radio show in the morning. Talked about all the scores and stuff like that. So it kind of prepared me and got me a little bit more comfortable for leaving when I left Arkansas State. Okay, that's awesome. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into some of the details of the event that is coming up um, that is centered around this documentary. It is the Hoop Dreams movie screening and workshop, October 19th and 20th. And this is going to take place in the Carl R. Ring Center of the Student Union in the auditorium. So let's talk about um, why this is important now to bring this to the forefront and introduce um, this documentary to the community. Well, it's coming up on the 25th anniversary of Hope Dreams uh, next year. Uh, it'll be 25 years. Um, when I went there in 94, a lot of things uh, sure has changed, and we just want to highlight uh, the difference of uh, education and sports and how those two mix. And now, today, we have social media and technology that we didn't have that 25 years ago. So we just, the one thing that Hoop Dream stayed with, related with, with all these kids and their parents is that we all go to school, you know, from elementary to high school, and it kind of shows the, I would say, the character building of a, of a, of a young person, learning themselves, uh, understanding uh, the popular kids, you know. We all gonna have that, that awkward time in high school where we're figuring out who we are and education is more important than sports, stuff like that. So, who things tackles all of that and it shows me struggling in high school, as I'm quite sure some, some kids do. Uh, it shows me overcoming a lot of that and uh, obtaining my whole goal was to obtain a scholarship to a college university. Because my, my mom, she didn't. My mom and dad didn't have the money to pay for me to go to, to get a great education or to go to college. So I used my skill and my talent in basketball to obtain one. And those are, scholarships are hard to come by. <laughs> they just don't hand them out. Yes, sir. <laughs> Saturday mornings. You know, you have to work for them. And from the inner city that I came from in Chicago on the west side, there's a lot of things that can be nick back and tapping at you to keep you off that path. Whether it's whether it be picking the wrong friends or, you know, just getting into trouble and just being a bad kid. Understanding early on how to stay away from that. And then through my lifelong dream of going to college for free, obtaining a degree, leaving there and, and going out into the world and being successful. So those traits are all in hoop dreams and we just want to talk about the technology and the social uh, aspect and how do we as a people get better and better our community things in that sort. All right. Well, thank you. I want to highlight some things that are on the flyer concerning the upcoming screening and workshop. It says, um, life skills development workshop, uh, with Mr. Arthur Ag Aggie, Aggie, I'm sorry. Um, seg Ag Aggie. segments of our past, our future, our future and our communicators. Um, I really hope that everyone that comes out and is in attendance um, really takes away the message that you are trying to give them um, concerning your experiences during that time. Um, there's a lot that can be learned um, and applied to children's lives today um, if they yep. take it to heart. <laughs> yep. Okay, so let's get into. Well, did you ever chime in on our on our on our on our other part of the workshop? Uh, well, let me take this. Hoopdreams also has a built-in educational life skills curriculum that's built to the movie. So as you're watching the movie, at the end of the movie, each person will give them a, a book, a playbook is what we call it. Okay. And it has everything in there that's, that's that a kid on that's positive for a kid, things to stay away from, uh, the things that don't really get talked about, their self-esteem, uh, how do they become a, how do they become a good uh, son or a daughter by helping their, 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 their family. Maybe they have to go out and get a job at an early age. That's what I did in the movie. Okay. Um, you know, it, 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 it catered to so much stuff that the book that I still have kids today that still use the book that as a guide to their life. That's really amazing. I want to please um, bring Miss Deidre Deidre, Deidre on the uh, line to talk about how this project um, 
came to be funded and some of the partners that are helping to promote this and really get it in all the different areas of all around the United States. <laughs> All right. Originally, it started with a workshop presented by OGS, that's the Afro American Historical and Genealogical Society, the Arkansas chapter, mainly based in um, Little Rock, but they have members all over the state. And they were doing a youth workshop. And I presented uh, Mr. Ag's uh, documentary and his curriculum as something that could perhaps be a part of that youth workshop and they uh, supported it and we wrote a grant to the Black History Commission and Mr. Ag's um, documentary and the curriculum became a part of their workshop. So the workshop includes uh, life skills as mentioned but it also includes uh, workshops about how you can be involved in history and preservation and in particularly how they can would research and write about their own families. And so all of those things are components of the workshop. I see that on the registration form. I will make sure to post this on our uh, website and other social media pages so that people can be familiar with what is going to be taking place at uh, during these two days of events. Um, if anyone is interested, um, you can reach out to Booker Mays at Arkansas State University and we'll make sure to uh, have that information posted as well. We want as many people in attendance as possible. I'm looking on the registration form and I don't see a fee. Is there a fee to attend? No, the workshop is free both days. The screening of the movie is on Friday. Registration is beforehand and the movie should start around 5 p.m. And then the workshop on Saturday starts at 9 a.m. We'll go about two to, to about 2 o'clock. And after 2 o'clock, we'll be transitioning to a basketball clinic. That's also awesome. Okay. Okay, I'm sure that's going to be a lot of fun for those that are in, in attendance as well. So what has the feedback been like from those in the Jonesboro community? Or have you heard any feedback of how many people are planning on attending? I don't have those numbers right now, but I do have an Eventbrite site. I'm going to go ahead and give it to you right now. It's hdastate.eventbrite.com. And I would love to see uh, some registrations begin to appear on that page. Again, it's hdastate.eventbrite.com. All right, so I want to encourage everyone that's out there listening to please make plans to attend this screening and workshop of the documentary Hoop Dreams. Um, it's not just about basketball. It's about the life and time of Mr. Arthur Aggie um, and the other. And what's, okay, and what is the other young, the other young man's name that's featured in this documentary? His name is William Gates. Okay. And this is more than just about basketball, like I said before. So there's a lot that can be taken away um, and applied to your life. And it's not just for kids. I'm sure adults can get just as much, if not more, out of this um, as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, some of, the, some of the adults, they saw the movie when they worked. So now when they're adults now, they didn't have their kids. They are showing, they are watching the movie with their kids. So it's a, it's a family it's a family story that that has all the twists and turns of the real American family and what we go through and how how we overcome and how we persevere and how the people, you know, just human beings are so resilient. Some of us don't know that we're resilient because things happen to us and we fold up and we can't go on. But who dreams tells that story of no matter what economic and social background you come from, no matter what happens to you in your life, death, uh, family members, relatives, anything, that you still have the power in your brain and your mind to succeed in life. Again, you're tuned in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We're speaking with Mr. Arthur Aggie and Mrs. Ms. Deidre Williams. We're discussing the upcoming screening and workshop of the movie Hoop Dreams. I say movie, uh, more of a documentary, documentary slash movie. Um, this is going to take place on the campus of Arkansas State University on October 19th and 20th um, with on the 19th. 
Um, there will be part one and part two um, with the movie screening and some other information given out. Um, and on part two, well, on Saturday, October 20th, there will also be a mini basketball clinic and contest. Um, we would love for you to please go register. Register at Eventbrite, HDA State. Dot eventbrite.com this event is totally free to the public now is there an age um limit or age require um an age for the workshop or is it open to everyone it's open to everyone we are targeting youth through college age but it's open to the public all right and this event is going to take place oh i'm sorry go ahead I would like to see uh, a, a young, the old, and in between, because every everyone can get some from it. I'm, I'm quite sure everyone can relate to something in the movie that direct, you know, speaks direct to their education and them moving forward in life. Uh, whether it's a kid that's six, I mean, nine year old, ten year old, whether it's a, a high school a kid, whether it's mothers and dads who who own own businesses and still work to this day. It's for everyone. Okay. And I want to highlight some of the additional speakers. Um, and I know all of these people except for one person. Um, the additional speakers for the event would be Dr. Joyce, Joyce um, Ogunrinde. Um, she was, was a professor at Arkansas State University in the athletic, in the PE department. Uh, she moved to Texas to another university, but she'll be back again, back for this event. Um, Booker Mays the uh, third, Jabari McLellan, McLennan, Moselle Madox, and Mike Givens. I know all of those people. What's up, um, Mike? Um, how did you get in contact with these individuals to get them to be ho- co-hosts for this event? Uh, well, these are all people I'm associated with, this is Deidre speaking, and Dr. Joyce, when she was at Arkansas State University, we initially, two years ago, actually tried to bring this program to Arkansas State, and she was very supportive at that time. She's also a person who uses the Hoop Dreams film in her sports management course, so she was very, very, very supportive of the project and actually has been a speaker in Brinkley when we had the same event in Brinkley, Arkansas. And then Mr. Booker Mays is the advisor to the National Panhellenic Council. I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Okay. I went to the CHC and asked them to assist with this event. And he has worked tirelessly to um, make sure we have facilities and is supporting even with food, even hosting or sponsoring the food for this upcoming event, National Panhellenic Council. And then Jabari was a speaker that was actually recommended to me a few years ago, and he actually spoke on a panel that we did about his dreams and the life skills topics. We presented it to athletes at Arkansas State. It was a very successful event, and uh, I look forward to hearing Jabari again. Then Ms. Moselle Maddox, both of these uh, people are former alumni in, in the sports athletic department at Arkansas State. Okay. So Matt, uh, lives in the Jonesboro community, and so does Mr. McLennan. And she also, as I said, is a former student athlete of Arkansas State University, and I consider her an entrepreneur in the hair and beauty field. Yes. And she has, yes, a lot she, of, she has a lot of motivating things to say to you. Yeah, she's one of my great friends. I love her. <laughs> okay, and then Mr. Mike Gibbons is a classmate of mine from Arkansas State. I know he attended at least a few years at Arkansas State, and he now does graphic design web work and marketing and so one of the topics that we want to cover with the panel will be branding and how students are branding themselves whether they know it or not oh so we want to give them some helpful tips about how to behave on social media because it may come to hunt them later oh yeah sad you know it may come to hunt them later Yes, I think some of them are learning the hard way, um, but I hope that they really pay attention during this segment um, because this is going to be crucial. And even if they don't become entrepreneurs for themselves, they may want to work for another agency somewhere and their social media footprint, like you said, could be detrimental to their future. <laughs> yeah, let me, let, me, let me just uh, 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 just hold on that a little bit. It's funny, 20 years ago, 
And if you fill out a job application, that's the only way that someone could find out about what you've done in your past, illegal or legal or whatever. This was by a background check. Now, our background check, 25 plus years later, is sitting right there on all our social media. So if you went out and done some crazy the other night, and you feel it's funny or whatever, you want to put that on, you know, you're just about to graduate and, and go into, you know, get a nice job and interview. What if that person just says, just look on this person's social media page and just see what they do. Then yeah, right there, that's your job interview gone. Yes. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So it's just so, so, so vital. We, I mean, our choices now can either make us a break. All right, so we're getting ready to wrap up our segment in the final minute and a half. I would like for you to please give us some final thoughts, some words of encouragement, and any other information you would like uh, to help push the participation um, to this upcoming event. Go ahead. So, just say uh, something, and then I, uh, okay. Uh, I was motivated to do the program for you due to a nonprofit I started, Del TSE, and I, it is my hope that we can be a benefit, be of service to the community of Jonesboro through this program. We also uh, would target outside of Jonesboro. Anyone listening or hears about the workshop, we'd love to have you to, to attend. All right, thank you so much. All right, Mr. Well, my ending, my ending point, and I want to let people know that this is my first time back since 1994. So that alone should get the people in the field and want to hear what uh, the odds of hate been going on. But uh, I started a business, have a nonprofit organization, uh, still feel that I'm a successful young man, even though I did make the NBA. A lot of people have that dream. But I just want to let people know, feel free, other things, and go after them with a stone wheel and just try to be successful in life. Live your hoop things, control your destiny. Well, thank you all so much for that. Uh, thank you all for tuning into Community Conversations. This has been part one. Stay tuned for part two. We'll be right back after these announcements. You're listening to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. We'll be right back.